Yo, what is cracking? This is Jerry here with Wealth Dynamics, bringing you wealth, purpose, freedom, and financial literacy in your life today so that you can own your potential. Now, I titled my video this morning, Money Problems, because I want to talk to you about the number one money problem out there. Now, I think most people struggle financially. I think that's fair to say. About 10% of the population doesn't. And then the other 90% do. And then out of that 90%, I would say, you know, 60 to 70% of them are aware of it and actually care. Okay, now here's the deal. Just gonna throw some stats out there. So 76% of us are living paycheck to paycheck. That's eight out of 10 people that you know, might even include yourself, right? Can't pay the bills every two weeks. 59% of Americans have less than than $1,000 saved. One out of every four pre-retirees has to postpone retirement at age 60. That means if you got four grandparents, one of them is gonna find out that they're too broke to retire when they turn age 60, and you're probably gonna end up taking care of them. And, And from what I've seen, guys, this is a stat that I've seen personally just dealing with finances. Most people that I run retirement numbers for the traditional way with the 401k and everything they've been doing the way they've been told to, they're gonna run out of money in the first 10 years. The first 10 years of retirement. What does that mean? That means that you're going to get to retirement thinking you are okay. You will look at the numbers and be like, man, I'm good, until you're not. Like nobody has run the math with you on, here's what you got, here's what your income's gonna be, here's inflation, here's taxes, here's what you pay in fees, Here's what the market actually has done, not what your financial advisor told you the market's done. And based on that, here's what your your income is gonna last for in retirement. Most people have no idea about those numbers. So financial problems or money problems, it's something we all have been dealing with or we've dealt with at some point in time. And the reason I wanna talk about this today is because it's relevant. Now, how do you fix financial problems? Like you look at the paycheck to paycheck thing, you look at You know, one in five Americans doesn't even have a savings account. Uh, 60% of us have no money saved. Like all of these stats, how do we fix that? Do you budget harder? Do you try and pay off your debt? Do you try and get rid of your mortgage? Do you try and save for a rainy day? Like what do you actually do to fix the problem? Now, I'm not gonna fix the problem for you. It's actually something I can't help you with. You've gotta help yourself with it, but I'm gonna tell you why the problem is bigger than you think. So you have these money problems, right? Every two weeks you're terrified. You're like, do we have enough in the bank? Or maybe you do have enough in the bank, but you're like, man, we're one catastrophe away from being broke. We're we're six weeks away from, you know, losing the house if we don't have our income in. Like maybe you're in that spot. That's definitely a problem, but let me share share with you this problem. Did you realize that since 1913, over the last 105 years, your dollars have gone down by over 2,400% in value. Okay, I want you to like, just to give you reality, I've got a cup of coffee here, right? That cup of coffee has a certain amount of caffeine. A certain amount of caffeine. I drink it in the morning, it gives me energy, you do it too. Now imagine that coffee somehow being diluted in caffeine to the point that you had to drink 24 cups to get the same thing that one cup used to do. Imagine having to drink 24 cups of coffee every morning to get the same effect you used to get from one cup of coffee. That's what's happening to your money. You see, and it's not even inflation, you see money goes down in value because they print more of it. Not only do they print more of it, they lower interest rates. Your banker, when they give you a good deal on a loan, they're lowering interest rates and flooding the environment with new money that doesn't have any value attached to it. When you deposit your money in a bank, They can give that dollar, it's called fractional reserve lending, they can give that dollar to 10 other people at the same time, guys, 10 other people. That means you gave them a dollar and they've only kept 10 cents in reserves. Think about that. If you went to a bank and you said, hey, can I have my dollar back? And they're like, oh, we gave it all away, we've only got 10 cents left. That's actually what happens, it's called fractional reserve banking. You sign a disclosure for it when you open up an account. So. How do you handle these money problems? You gotta realize that the money problem is bigger than you think. It's not just, how do I pay my, pay my bills every two weeks? It's not just, how do I pay off my house? It's not even the paycheck to paycheck thing. Now you have to realize that the only way to defeat the big money problem that I just mentioned is to out earn it. In order to defeat 
deflation, devaluing of currency, you have to out earn the currency. So if currency went down by 2,400% over the last 105 years, your income would need to increase by at least 2,400% over the last 105 years to maintain the same purchasing power. I want you to go solve that problem. Do you know why? The reason why is if you solve that problem, you're no longer living paycheck to paycheck. If you solve that problem, you don't care about your house payment. If you solve that problem, you're not worried about your bills. Like you're fine, you're not worried about saving for a rainy day. You could go buy a rainy day if you wanted to. Like imagine that, you could actually like call God up and be like, hey, I've got, I've got a mill, I need you to make it rain tomorrow. I'll wire it over, just I got you, I'll take care of it, I'll cover the fee too. Just I need some rain tomorrow. Imagine being able to do that. Like when you guys hear me talk about money, it's not just money, 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 you need money, it's this is why. The reason you need money is because I believe that you are a gifted person. I believe that you're creative. I believe that you have talent. I believe that you have ideas and creativity. And I believe that you're squandering it because you're worried about paying the bills next week. I believe you're squandering it because you're terrified of your mortgage. I believe you're squandering it because you're trying to fit in with your middle-class friends. And if you forget about that and instead you think about how do I solve this problem? Not the problem of 76% of us being paycheck to paycheck, The problem of how do I out earn the currency devaluation rate? If you go solve that problem, you'll change your life. I guarantee it. And that's what I help people do. I don't help people invest. I don't help people save more money. Like those are all things that I'm going to help with. But the thing that I help you do is I help you become financially free. And I was taught, by the way, that financially free meant that I didn't have to trade my time for money at a job anymore. It basically meant I didn't have to work. The more I've studied money, Financially free means that I have so much wealth that economic catastrophes cannot affect me. I have so much wealth that dips in in production cannot affect me. I have so much wealth that the currency being devalued cannot affect me. That's financial freedom. Because there's a lot of us that are out there that are going to be able to quit our jobs one day because the 401k plan at work and we're going to retire and an economic catastrophe will happen. And guess what? You're going to go back to work. You're going to be 70 years old and go back to your job. And if you can't, you're going to have to go work at Walmart. Like you're not getting like these, these premium jobs when you're that age. So if you don't solve the problem of how do I out earn what the Federal Reserve Bank does to our currency, then you're at risk. And that's what I help you do. I help you get out of risk. So I want to give you more data like this on what the actual financial problem really is. Now today I'm going to be doing a live stream with my wife Lexi. And we're going to be doing this at, uh, at 1 o'clock Alaska time. That's going to be 4 p.m. Central time. And we are going to talk about money problems. We're going to talk about things that, that we've gone through as a couple, things that you've probably been through, how we've handled it. We're going to talk about maybe some problems that you didn't expect, that you didn't see coming, that you didn't realize yet, so that you can be on your toes and aware with your finances. So, guys, thank you for watching this morning. I appreciate it. I always love talking to you on my drive to work. Be sure if this is helpful information that you like, share, and subscribe. By the way, if you like this, the share button is right next to it. It's the same effort. Go ahead and hit that real quick. I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you.